Good morning, good morning, good morning, everyone. How are you doing on this Tuesday morning? It is the last day of January 2017, if you can believe it. Um, January has been a kind of crazy month between the politics and then we have had here in Oregon um, some snow and since we don't get snow very often in Portland we're not prepared for it so my kiddos got quite a few consecutive days off from school but let me tell you it's actually nice just to be able to spend some kind of low-key days with them where after school activities were canceled and it was just kind of work from home pajama day and it was just really it was really nice so for those of you who don't know me um, my name is Jocelyn Mozak. I am your WordPress expert. I work with small business owners really helping to create a website for them um, that is really aligned with their vision for their company's future. So we're revamping, revitalizing, realigning websites to really propel the business forward and support them with where they want to go. Um, and it's so timely to talk about something like this in the new year as a lot of us have finished doing business planning and now have you know our marching orders we have a vision for where we want to go in the 2017 where we'd like to be at the end of the year and um, you know starting to have planned out those steps to get you there and what I wanted to talk to you about today um, is something called Google Analytics because whether you have just launched your first website or your website has been on the web for years and years, Google Analytics is an important thing to have installed on your site because it helps people like me um, help you and do a better job helping you to really uh, refine your website so it becomes even more powerful, um, a piece of marketing, and essentially bringing in clients and business and sales. You may have heard of Google Analytics. It is put out by Google. And it's this little piece of code that you put into your website code and it tracks uh, basically what your visitors are doing. It tracks how they come to you and then once they're on your site, what are they doing? So it brings in this amazing information of letting us know, as opposed to us guessing, letting us know where are our visitors coming from? Are they coming from Google search? If so, what did they type in? Are they coming from Facebook or LinkedIn? Are they coming from somebody you never expected and suddenly you have this partner who's actually sending you traffic and you didn't even know about this? Um, so it's really, really uh, gives us useful information on people coming to our site, where are they coming from, so we can focus our energy on doing even more with that path, you know, reinforcing, beefing up what's already working. And maybe if there's something that um, we've been putting money into and it's not generating anything, we either say, are we doing it wrong? Or do we just not do that because our customers aren't there? We thought they were, but they weren't. Um, so that's one really important piece of Google Analytics. The other secret it tells us is once people come to our site, what are they doing? Do they just come to the site and go, oh, this is either not what I wanted, or this messaging is awful, or I'm overwhelmed. Either way, I'm leaving this site. Or are they looking around? And, and when they do look around, what are some of their favorite pages and favorite blog posts? Because there, therein lies opportunities. When we look at what's working, we can figure out how to put more calls to action and, and next steps on it and tweak it a bit. And when we find out what's not working, we have something we can look at and maybe make better. So Google Analytics gives us all this information. Now, as a business owner, if you've ever installed it, if you haven't, I'll add a link as to how to do it. And if you're not sure, I can also add some information on how you can quickly check if it's installed on your site. Um, but as a business owner, if you've ever logged in, you might very well log in and log out promptly saying, ugh, too much, there's numbers everywhere, I don't know what it means. Or maybe you're thinking, but I just started, there's a total of five people visiting my site, who cares? We care because of history. So plan for the future. Even if you yourself never plan to look at it, I highly encourage you to install it on your site. So that way, when you approach someone like me and you say, my site's not working, or I want my site to work better, and I say, wonderful, where's your Google Analytics? Let's see what's going on. You say, here you go. And then we can really dig deep and, and see what's actually going on. You know, when we don't have that information, we have to throw darts, which aren't bad, but we're guessing. We're guessing what our potential clients are doing. And when we have that information, then we know. 
So I hope I've planted a seed, uh, given you a very small to-do. Again, I will put in the show notes or the comments below a quick little how-to on how to check if you have it installed, if you're not sure, and if you don't, how you can easily install Google Analytics. And then as far as you know, going further with digging into the data, you can do that or you cannot, but just know that someday a web developer like myself are going to thank you for having done it. So with that, I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. Catch me next week. I'll talk with you a little bit more about, you know, now that we know how people are coming to our site, um, what we can do to make even more out of those visitors that do visit our site. So catch me next Tuesday and I'll be sharing those tips. This is Jocelyn Mozak, your WordPress expert, signing off and say have a fabulous day and a happy, yeah, last day of January 2017. Bye-bye.